Pina trying to get deep in towards the site, but look at this angle from Tevik. They haven't checked him. It's an easy kill, and Unko is following up as well. Absolute shutdown in the pit stall. Nothing going their way here. Brilliant round from OG. Rifles in hand. I want to see who the stars are. This team want to see who's going to be popping off. Aldron in the middle. Tevik ready for it. Cloud put us down, but his teammate's been picked out through mid. Brilliant shot from Cam. Strikes that peak and how aggressively he takes it, because there's a few angles, and that Trailblazer might just miss him. It does actually gives up his position and oh. gets caught in the process. If he was a bit more passive then, then maybe the Trailblazer gets by him without spotting him on the corner of the, the smoke. And now Young Pro Supremacy making these bigger guns work. It's not too bad for OG. They're still... Swarm to buy some time, trying to allow this rotation to come over from Tavik. The Zorbot is so ready for this angle. He's so ready for the peek out. He doesn't want to go on by. He's going to wait for his teammates to set everything up. And you can see how careful Young Supremacy are being. They know the investment into this round. They can't afford to drop their weapons. Destrin goes down quickly into Boathouse. And now it's all into Vic. Trying to figure out what damage he can get done. It's not going to be much. Only one kill for OG in the round. That's a really solid him in the open qualifier before. Already they've lost a round, so it's a little worse off than they previously have been, but Tavik's aggressive play gets away with a second. That's out of eight for Young Supremacy. They don't lose that early fight. Now the Seekers do go out trying to get some control. It's a straight up hit into the A site so far. Zorbot's done well to find the person. Capino checking in towards Hell, quickly trying to follow up, and he has got his kill. Two huge entries right now, and Tavik, that's a little bit of a risky play. Hasn't worked out at all. And now just Trex left alone. It's a doable 1v3. He's already found the first. Has found a chance here, but with those doors going down, Trex has really got to dig deep and he spotted the information. He knows Capina's in the corner. Barrel spot as well, but it's the movement up. The jump aggressively. They got it, but look at this. Tavik is trying to actually go in close. Oh. The dash in is good. The Eldron could have caught him, but it hasn't quite yet. And Zorbot playing just a little bit off the angle is good for the kill, but he's been spotted by two players. It's a nice play from OG. It forces Zorbot out. The paint shell was perfect. And Unko clears it up for a 4 versus 3. Yeah, lots of aggressive stances from OG and actual work. I think Young Supremacy have done a decent job at holding off some of those attacks, especially some of the passive plays outside of B, but Spike goes down. Now it's about the post plan. OG do have the man advantage into this retake, and will be the guiding light ready to go through. Trying to blind him as he crosses and change position. Cam gets over it. Getting stuck on the wall, though, eventually. We'll Take a better spot. Now looking back down into guard, he's trying to get something out of this, but no fight's really going this way. Our cover comes through, paranoia through as well, just trying to hold down the site, buy some extra time, and they're starting to run out of time. They've got to start getting a few kills here. DPS and Trex finding the first couple. Now just Shikano underneath help. It's going to be spotted by the Rikis. He spawned as well. This is looking like a straight up hit. There goes the lockdown through as well. Trex trying to hold it. Destrian looking for the lineups, but Cam has come through with a really nice headshot. Just taking him down immediately, and this defense has been uh, bolstered Unko. towards the B site, and Unko has flanked. They weren't ready for it. Just swoops in behind, gets him some... Like you mentioned, hasn't really been punished all that much. But that might make him overstep and oh. overplay it. Chicano does go for the jump peek to see if he can get the info, but gets caught instead. And it is just now the jet over on the A site, so Tavik can be under a little bit more pressure. The Trailblazer is going to go chasing after him. Yeah, they're really trying to figure out where Unko is playing from, and he gets caught in mid. Cam takes him down. He was now the play in towards this A site. Seeker's out again. Tavik's trying to hold on before he goes for it, and now he's being put under so much pressure. Guy in light up. Seeker attacks him as well. Now he tries to get away, just up drafting. He's not going to be able to get around the corner. Copina's done very well to find one, but he needs much more. And Mark's going to try and help him. Boombot's gone through. Damage has been inflicted. The problem is you've got to still try and put that spike down and they're getting caught by everything. Showstopper in, no kill from it. And now the Satcher goes through as well, but it's a kill coming in for DPS. Mark now stuck in the site, 1v2, caught in the open. Far by the Ascent of OG, but this A pressure is starting to come in quickly from Young Supremacy. Zorbot off and left in these lurks through middle, but everything is being watched right now But for OG. They're not letting anything slide, they're not giving a single chance away. And Young Supremacy getting taken down one by one. Onko with another one. Capina, he has got some control up to window, but the flank is coming in behind him as well, and that recon bolt spots him. Trex with that's better of it, drops back down. Now again, OG going for this retake. They're a man up into it once again, and they've been so good at these retakes on the A site. It's going to be real difficult, especially with that lockdown in. DPS hitting the headshot, forcing them back away. DPS with another one, just getting cleaned up. OG looking so good. And Jacano, he's going to get nice. Oh, he gets absolutely embarrassed. Humiliate half. And it's going to be Unko looking for that 
early mid pick, Capino and Destrian trading out kills at the start of the pistol. Into the second half, 4v4 right now, Tavik going through with the frenzy. Really good start here from OG. Not cover and Nano Swarm down in towards spawn as well. Trailblazer going through, good pick here from DPS. He heard that starting to come through, new to get aggressive. And OG are up, looking very comfortable into this pistol. Good adaptation. Losing in early. There's clearly some, uh, some potential for young supremacy, especially if they are just still relatively young. Capina can seem to make a play overall and go from there. See what they can overall do and... ...fires in these qualifying stages. But so far, so good for Young Supremacy at the start of this round. Early pick coming in from the Marshal. Can be pressured, forced back into the A site. Oh, he's guiding a light out, going for a peek, and fully blinded. Unco goes down, and the Sheriff, unfortunately, cannot connect for the second. DPS, though, on the Classic, making it work. And OG have somehow pulled this back into the 3v3, but they've got to clear Zorbot, and they do that efficiently. They even just get the headshots in. Now it's up for Mark, going in from the back of the high ground to see what he can actually get done. Oh no! It's gonna stand in the middle of the nanosaur, but now the turret as well is gonna get a rip, but it's already down, and Mark now looking for his picks. Dropping down into the 2v2, DPS's position is strong, and but you're not gonna get the cigar. 12 to 2. It's only those dabbles of a couple of rounds they lost. They're not gonna. The, the fifth cast in that one, and it went on a fair while. Yeah, Today was... might be might be quick and easy because OG are absolutely blitzing through this. They want to get further on in the tournament as soon as possible. Yeah, this one's not going to be that 15-13 three-map or BO3 straight off the bat. It's going to be very comfortable for OG. Great sight take as well. Hunter Fury starting to come in, trying to line them up, and DPS has done that. Good angle as well gets a double out of it, and that is the final blow really to what has been a one-sided affair. It's all but done as Capino hit here on the attacking side. Trex immediately out with the Owl Drone. Frenzy in behind it. And he's going to find himself the opening. Great opening kill. Tavik tried to send the Trailblazer in as this ASI attack starts to come through. Trex is on another one. Onko following up. This A take is just beautiful to watch. There's a nice little guiding light coming out of Tavik who was over in showers. It flew all the way in and Trex was able to pop it from... The other side of A main. It was just a nice execute. They were staggered a little bit, knew that there was going to be this hole from Young Supremacy over towards Showers, and they broke it perfectly. Shikano now on the Brimstone is going to try and see if he can find his way through oh. Lamps. It's a nice little flick to get onto Trex, but he still has four more OG players to try and clear. King gives the weapon up to a frenzy, trying to smoke off areas of the map to see if he can oh. isolate some of these fights. The Recon Dad's going to get a lot of information. And he's flashed perfectly again from Tavik. Who thinks you coming in? There is a Brimstone playing on site, and Mark has made his presence known in Elba. That record that is going to get a lot of information, at least for Young Supremacy, but still Trex is the one that finds that first blood. And they've done well to keep it just a one man deficit right now, Young Supremacy, trying to keep those players alive. Mark has done a very good job of just staying back at Elbow, but Sky Smoke comes in. Mark's going to try and play into it, he will fight DPS. It's Silver and Silver action, and the kills come through for the defensive side. Cam's been able to follow up as well, and now it's a man down for OG on the post plant. Kill starting to come in from Trex, though. It's a third for him in this round. He's still got that showstopper. He's got another blast pack available, and Tavik is coming in behind, but he doesn't really even need him. Trex with a 4K, and finally Tavik will close it out. It does come down to the 1v1 for Young Supremacy. Got to pull off a retake, or they can hang around for some exits on the damage. I mean, they only have sheriffs right now, not really looking at the best case scenario. But if they can get a kill quickly, there might just be a chance for them. You reckon they're gonna know that they're coming for hookah, OG? I feel Place like events. I feel like they've got a, a decent setup to, to get that info out straight away. You know, once they hear the trailblazers, they've got such a good setup to try and take everybody down. I think it's difficult going for a retake Ooh. all from one position. And DPS is going to come in with one. Destrian shutting them down as this spot so quickly. The blast packs are super nice from oh. him. And he does find that nice timing on the entry. Might be able to catch up to Taviku. It tries to flash, but gets stuck in the corner. That nice aggression has made it awkward for OG. But yet again, Trix is trying to lead the line and... Rewrite the numbers. He's got a showstopper. There's three plays in showers. Oh. Well, showstopper goes in. He's looking for a kill. Getting into the corner. Confirms the kill. Marco's down and blast packs up into the corner as well. Viper's pit goes down and 
to the site. Now this retake looks real difficult for Young Supremacy. They need this kill quickly, and they've done that very well, but on call, Lovely. out of the pit, back on in, and a huge double. Orbit Strike trying to come through, but Onko's just killing everybody. This is unbelievable from Onko. And now Cam's just left alone, trying to figure out, can he even get back in here? Can he even find the opportunities? And now they know they've got that advantage. Onko has been spotted, but still like some of that aggressive posturing in the previous. Seekers go into Hooker, guiding light through as well. Now the Boombot coming in, just chaos right now inside of Hooker. Orbit Strike comes through as well. Dashtrin's been able to take Mark out of play. He's really putting so much pressure on Shikano, but to be fair to him, he has not crumbled yet. He's still holding the position, and the showstopper goes in. Trex has been caught by it, and Tavik turns around, runs out of ammo, and Kapina still alive with his teammate in this two versus three. Zorbot in towards mid, starting to figure out the approach coming back into this one. He went for it, and Kapina is sat in the teleporter with the spike. So now OG have to make their way up all the way around to A. Destrian's on the outside, and we'll see what how much the Viper can do for Young Supremacy in this position, because it's not all that much, it really is, can Kampina win the duel? Oh. Hunter's Fury's a nice idea to try and actually get the raise out of there, they might have actually left the door, oh. now they've just managed to survive, but they wall bang him, now they're going to go hunt for the Viper, they want to try and stay alive at this point, because the spike is going to be awkward to grab, but Zobot needs to make a play. This is the exact play that you want to be making. Unfortunately, he doesn't know that there's a play close to it, but here's the steps. It doesn't matter all that much. Uh, it's understandable why they're 6-0 up. It's been an absolute showcase of their ability. Oh. Even when we see Young Supremacy get any early kills like that, instant trades in from OG. Now they're going to go for the plant inside of the tube, and Mark now peeks out in the elbow, but Trex is ready for it. Yeah, I think uh, I think it's, we can't really allow ourselves to fall into that false sense of security in terms of fueling out OG, because they did have such a strong start the open qualifiers the last time around, and then when they met their first challenge, it, it didn't go that way, so... Definitely a good start for OG. This round's still up for grabs, though. No Supremacy trying to get one on the board. They've got to make a retake happen again. Trex being forced into a wider fight with that snake bite. Zorbot starts to run through. They're just playing so passive right now in this post plant, OG. They're not giving away a single opportunity. Zorbot trying to get the fights, eventually does get one, but runs out of ammo. And now Mark is under so much pressure, he's getting spotted as well. Recon. Or the duelist for Team Anubis, which by the way was a crazy because they are an actual team. They went yeah. in and won it all. I see him lift up the trophy for Campus Clutch, and then I check Reddit, VLR say that he's going to Vitality, which are a little bit further on in the <laughs> tournament. So it's like, literally in real time, we're seeing why it's important. Yeah, this, just, it, right, it's this, awesome to this see This guy that. won? All right, here, we're signing him, you know? <laughs> this, this literally just have the contracts ready for everybody. Eventually, whoever the winner was got a spot in uh, uh, Vitality, not bad. Kapina, this is huge. Okay. Double kill comes in. Cam as well. Maybe this is a little bit of a, an overstep from OG, right? They get a little too overconfident, but luckily still a 2v2. Kapina tries to get through. Guiding Light starts to come in towards him, but they're holding them back now, OG. They're taking a deep breath. They realize this could slip out of their fingers. They want to keep it flawless, and at least they've got two sitting passive. It's going to be difficult. Kapina needs a kill here, but Cam's been able to find it. Now it's all on to Vic. Spam to the wall, headshot connects, and they're pinging the spike for him Ooh. right now, and Cam no, eventually no will get the kill. Gets onto the spike, but it's not looking so great for him right now. He's going to hold it. He's going to try and get it through. <laughs> they're from Norway. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's get into this one. A little bit of a, a life sign now for Young Supremacy, but... Norby with the Hellfire going down in towards the A site, clearing out close corners, taking most of the site away from them. And Mark just can do really nothing about this. He hears the spike go down, but hasn't really been able to get involved. And now peeking out from Lamps is just kills right now for OG. Kavik and Unko taking everybody away. And Cam, who did play a major part in getting that round over the line in the previous, has to try and make something happen here. And with that time ticking on and four OG plays still standing, it's all about just padding some stats here, hoping they make a bit of a mistake. But I think OG have learned from... Their overzealousness in the previous round, you can't really be getting away. We'll strike all in the defense. I think that shot stuff is getting used very quickly oh. just because of oh. the positioning. But Uncle trades him out and gets even <laughs> more. They all line up perfectly for him. How is he just getting away with three there? That's incredible, Uncle. And Cam goes down as well. That is the quickest round of that. I think uh, one of them where they, it just gets faster every time he says it. So, yeah, there's been a lot of weird Lord of the Rings content I've watched, and I'm not going to divulge all of it here on, on the stream. All being added by the day. 
It's called Flash from Cam, and oh. it's a nice little flick up to get onto tracks, actually. Cam's been really good to watch on this sky, much more noticeable on this map than the last. Yeah. Now the Showing sequence is available ability. again. Orbital Strike is about to be used, but Unko just catches Chicano in the nick of time. And uses a Viper's Pit to block off metal. Yeah, just throwing down the ult straight away here. And it's now going to make things real difficult, but Kapina's come in with one important kill. He's turning them into 1v1s, and there it goes! Unko through the pit again! The timing was looking like it was going to go Kapina's way. It looked like he was about to find the most important kill, but it didn't go his way. He looked away at the wrong time, and because of that, Onko with a headshot has put Cam into a 1 versus 3, and... Oh, we are still getting used to a big patch that happened a couple of weeks ago, like four weeks ago now. And the patches since that one have been so small because they're like, we've changed so much, we don't want to change anything else. But this pistol actually looking to go in the direction Young Supremacy. It says that the Viper has the Viper's Pit online. They don't. Don't worry. I don't even think that's possible, but. Oh, gee, uh, hold it. Okay. <laughs> Treads with a wall bang in a rough position, but it's like being planted. And he allowed them to drop back into comfortable post plants. And when I say comfortable post plants, they're all in the same position, right? They're playing from lamps right now. And this can be relatively easy to clear out if you get that info early. But the, the problem is, once one peeks out, you don't know if they're all going to be in there. And they're trying to pull out the fights. Chicano's uh -huh, coming with one. Okay. And Tavik on a clean double headshot. He's got to try and figure out where the last remaining player is. Zorbot jumping up, gives away his info. And now peeking into him, Tavik with wow. a headshot. There's no way he... got the answer, so I need to ask him again. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll point him out. We'll get him on the phone after this. It really it, it is a feels good, because especially with like Overwatch players moving over, like I, I think the, the biggest example is FaZe Clan. It has playstyles to learn. Capinia is actually going to get a bit of a taste of his own medicine, jumping right into a judge. DPS reads that perfectly. And whilst Destrian has the better weapon and an aggressive angle, he loses out to the Stinger, so it's still a 4 versus 4. And the game has slowed right down because Unko, Snake Bites just making sure the Young Supremacy can push onto this A site. But you have a lot of controlling showers. Yeah, they do. That's an important position to have right now. But the talks they screen up, there's a bit of an issue because DPS is playing in front of it. So it's kind of neutralized and they're, they're trying to throw the guiding lights around the corner. It's just not working out at all. DPS with the judge, he has passed his sentence and it is a death sentence right now. Zorbot with a headshot. Trex has been pulled out of play. 45 seconds remain. Spike looking to try and go down. Truck got to try and get it out of the showers and luckily he will. Down to one HP. It's all about trying to get closer, taking some positions back. It's an X right now with toxic screens, and Zorbot's got into a decent position to try and get in behind, but DPS is going to spot him. Another big kill for him, and now it's just Mark left alone. He couldn't quite get